Along the Great Barrier Reef, the coral has a fever, suffering from heat stress, turning ghost-like, a sign of mass bleaching on a global scale. At this point, it's pretty unequivocally due to ocean warming, which is mainly driven by uh, greenhouse gas emissions and global climate change. February and March showed record sea surface temperatures. As they climb, the coral suffers, stops reproducing, often for years, and sometimes dies. The oceans are acting as this big heat sink. The problem is, you know, that, that capacity to absorb this heat is coming with drastic ecological ramifications. It's gotten to the point where we're seeing simultaneous coral bleaching events everywhere around the planet, essentially at the same time. You can see the severity of the bleaching. Yellow is a watch. Red, brown, and purple are the most severe, extending from the Pacific to the Indian to the Atlantic Ocean off Africa and South America. With summer heat coming, it's expected the mass bleaching will migrate northwards. If we lose coral reefs, we're going to lose one of the most species diverse ecosystems on this planet, where 25% of marine, of no marine life live on these coral reefs. Last summer, a marine heat wave hit the Florida Keys. It's very challenging to watch uh, what happened last summer and, and what's probably coming this summer. We traveled with biologists implanting new coral on the reefs, focusing on species more heat resistant. Corals have traits just like we do, and some of those traits mean that the corals are resilient to heat stress. The ones that survive and the ones that thrive are really the ones that we need to focus on. Some of the bleached coral last summer has recovered, but this spring, we are nearing the worst mass bleaching event on record. Susan Ormiston, CBC News, Toronto.